Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great this morning. I'd like to start out today by thanking so many of you that have sent requests of prayer and uh, kind thoughts for Janice and myself uh, with Alicia being sick in Chicago. We're awaiting this morning. It's about uh, 15 after 7 our time. They're an hour, uh, of course, uh, away from us. So we're uh, waiting to hear uh, this morning how she is. And certainly those prayers that you have prayed, uh, very, uh, very heartfelt for me. I deeply, with all my heart, appreciate that. I, I tell you a couple times last night, I just uh, began to weep as I would see the responses come in in such a quick fashion. And I, I really, with all my heart, appreciate that so much. In the process of that issue, of course, as you go to bed with things on your mind, as all of us do from time to time, we wonder about, you know, the Lord and what the Lord's going to do about our loved one, our child, whatever the case may be. How do you actually deal with that? How do you face that uncertainty and at least try to get some sleep to rise up and start the next day if the Lord gives you that as a gift? Well, last night, of course, as we were uh, headed to bed, we began to pray as you have been praying, as we had been praying earlier that, you know, things are in God's hands. In, in all of our cases, in all of our situations, things are in God's hands. Your life, my life. I, I get so many requests in, and I, one of the things that I can give back to you is that it's all in God's hands, and God knows the best. In fact, I talked to a, a fella on Saturday and reminded him that God loves his daughter more than he does. And that's what helps us uh, to be reminded that God loves Alicia and Aaron, our children, and, and Miss Janice, myself, more than anybody else. And, and we're encouraged by that. Although, from the human side, there's worry there. From the human side, there's anticipation. There's, there's uh, nervousness. There is, there is uh, uh, you just un unrest sometimes. Now, not all the time, sometimes. And, and I want to tell you by experience that your faith walk will help you in times of trouble. You know, I don't know uh, what word we're going to get today. It, it could be uh, as simple as, well, there's uh, some type of uh, viral infection. Uh, I, I don't know. We hope it's not bacteria because that's not a good sign. But whatever the case may be, I don't know. Uh, but what I do know is I know that God loves me, and I know, and I want you to hear me, I know that whatever is coming into my life, God is going to do the best thing. I know that. I know that God's going to help in my situation, and I know that God will honor that because he said that he would take care of his people. Now, uh, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect by a long stretch. And Miss Alicia, our daughter's not perfect. But we are serving a perfect God that loves us and cares for us. And quite frankly, if, if uh, she had been out doing something she shouldn't have done, got an automobile accident on life support today or whatever, That'd be a totally different situation. This is a sickness situation that came upon her suddenly. She didn't do anything to get it that she knows of. It just came upon her. I believe she's trying to do right. I thank God for that. And I want you just to simply think about the situations that you face, how you face those situations, what you do with them. And I just want to tell you today that it's a trust God issue. God knows uh, about your situation. He knows about your, your burdens. He knows about your heartaches. He knows about your desires. He knows about the burden that you have for your friends. Some uh, people uh, carry a great burden for their friends. Uh, their friends will be involved in some activity. Their friends will be involved in some process that, that, that they themselves know is wrong. And they'll get so involved in their friends and trying to help them so much that they'll get burdened themselves and they'll lose the joy of the Lord because their friend won't do the right thing. Now listen to me. Uh, we have to, you and I, whether it's our family or whether it's our friends, uh, you and I have to take the position that God is going to do the best. Uh, God knows the whole story. I don't know it. You don't know it. Uh, Miss Janice, last night at church, uh, talked to Alicia. Uh, she got emotional, of course. Mothers are very attached to their children, obviously dads too, but ladies, you've just got a gear that us guys can't touch, and I respect that, and I appreciate that. So Miss Janice had this little challenge in time with Miss Alicia. I didn't know anything about it till after the service was over, and she told me about it. But I just want you to know that God's able to get in there, in your life, in my life, in your situation, in my situation. God is able to get in there and do something about it. So trust him, rely on him. You say, well, you know, uh, Pastor, 
how do I trust him? Well, let me, let me tell you one of the best ways in the world to trust the Lord. And that's to continue on with what you're supposed to do. Uh, when you're in a situation that you don't have an answer and you're waiting, keep working, keep laboring, keep going forward. Uh, because you don't have an answer or because the burden that you have for someone has not been relieved yet, don't stop what you're doing. The ultimate trust in God is to keep on working, keep on going, keep on going. Let's think, let's think about Noah for a moment. Noah uh, preached 120 years. Think about that. 120 years building this ark, and you know that he had to become weary. But what did he do? He kept on hammering. I just want to encourage you to keep on hammering. Abraham, when he offered his son on Mount Moriah, the Bible says that he went three days. I know he had to get weary in that three-day journey. Isaac talking about where are we going, what are we going to do? But what did uh, Abraham do? He kept on going. He kept on on the journey. So the greatest, or at least one of the greatest acts of faith that we can ever have is to lay it in God's hands and keep on working. God will bless you for that. And I want to tell you, I got up this morning just like regular, did exactly what I would do without any other information going or coming, just exactly the way that I do every morning by God's grace. And I want to tell you that when you keep working, God can do something with you. So today, no matter what you're facing, no matter what's going on, keep on working. God will bless you for it. We'll keep you updated on Alicia. Thank you for your prayers. And please know that our hearts are very appreciative of your concerning care. God bless you. We love you. Goodbye.